Who loves the soothing sounds of wind chimes in the garden? Hi, it's Marcy. Welcome back. In this episode today, we are cutting and repurposing a wine bottle with other materials you may have around the house to make this gorgeous wind chime for your garden. Without further ado, let's go have some fun. For today's project, you will need a bottle with the label removed, as well as a cutter, and you're also going to need a pot of boiling water. Let's get to our project. When the bottles have soaked for a little bit, you're going to take them out with a pad, very carefully take them out and put them over to the sink and allow them to cool and start working on the label. Some labels come off a lot easier and you don't even have to use a, a razor blade. So I'm going to just take this off and look at that. You do want to make sure that all the adhesive is off though because if the adhesive here is not off and you try to cut it or make a score, it will not make a clean cut and you'll end up just destroying. Okay. Additionally, if you need extra help in taking all the adhesive out, you can actually use the 99% isopropyl alcohol. It's a great tool to have in your kit. So the bottles are clean and we're all set to go on scoring our bottle. Now keep in mind you want to score it. You're not trying to cut the bottle here. That's going to be the thermal process of putting the bottle into the into the hot water. So I'm going to adjust it for this setting because that's the, that's the height that I want my bottle at. And we're going to press down. And then you can hear it go again so you don't want to go around one more time. And that is my score. I'm going to put that in my bath of hot water. Let these remain submerged and just let them heat up. And we'll take them over to the sink and shock them with some cold water. Many times it only just takes once to do that. Sometimes twice, but we'll see. Hopefully today is our lucky day. Look at that. Beautiful. Take that out. Shut the stove off. I will show you my other bottle that was in that was a second bottle. And this one did not have a clean cut. But no, no worries because I'm actually going to use this for sea glass material. It's going to go into my rock tumbler and that's going to be beautiful sea glass. So right now we're going to shut the stove off and we're going to get on with our project, which is the wind chime. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Take that out with tongs and put that on the stove, perfect. This is a beautiful clean line, look at the edges. I'm gonna just sand that down with a little bit of fine grit. It would be perfectly great for our little wind chimes. Okay, what we wanna do is we want to sand the bottom part of our bottle edge down. So what I'm gonna do is I have a piece of wet dry paper, sandpaper. A 3M150. And all I want to do is just get the roughness of the bottle off. This is a really clean cut, so there's really not that much to do. Let's take a look at what we need to make this project uh, for the wind chimes. Okay, you're going to need a cork, wine bottle with the label off, of course, and nice and clean, and you're going to need something to make the noise. I'm using an old bead. You're going to need a cord. This is a leather cord. You can use a chain also if you so desire. As well as this piece right here is actually a heart that I made out of a top which went to um, an old storage bin. But I was using the top as a painter's palette for one of my canvases and I was done with it. So I cut out a heart shape and then even painted it more and let it dry. And that's gonna be put at the end uh, to pick up the wind, okay? That's how it will be assembled. Then, additionally, if you want, let's say, a few extra pieces to decorate your bottle, you can have something like this. This is uh, a little dog paw that I made with some copper as well as the word love, and I'm going to put that up here, and I'm gonna secure that with some 
copper 18 gauge. You can get this like at a Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that, a local hardware store. It's really simple. But keep in mind when you wind the copper around the bottle that it will patina, it will oxidize over time and it's not going to take that long actually. But I am going to put these little uh, pendants on the wire. It's going to kind of look like this actually. This is another one that I did, but you can see how the wire oxidized and then I have all these little pieces that I put at the end. And here's some African beads and some more copper wiring and butterflies and all kinds of little doohickeys that kind of made me laugh. Right now we're going to take our bottle and a cork. We're going to chisel away at this bottom part and then drill a hole at the top. So taking a sharp X-Acto knife, carefully chisel. It doesn't have to be pretty because you're not going to see it. So we skinny down the cork and that's going to be plentiful to go inside. And don't worry, we're going to be gluing it. This is just a mock-up right now so you can see the flow of how we're doing the wind chime, the spirit chime. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole. I'm going to start with a small bit size to make our hole. We're going to carefully uh, take the drill and just start slowly holding it with a very tight grasp. Okay, that's pretty good. What I'm going to do is change this out for the larger one. Okay, we'll do that one more time just to make it a little bigger. You want to make sure that this can go through. All right, perfect. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to decide that this is where I'm knotting my top piece. It's going to go through like this, right? So what I want to do is knot off right here. And then we're going to figure out where we want the clacker to go. All right. Again, we're not gluing anything. We're just trying to figure out the placement of everything. Now, as you know, the different points of the glass provide a different sound. So, for example, if it's in the middle of the glass, if it's in the below the glass, if it sticks out of the glass, what I'm going to do is I want to just tie this off real quickly to get an idea of what the glass is going to sound like, what the, what the wind chime is going to sound like. Okay, maybe I want that to be a little bolder. It's kind of bimpy, so I'm going to bring that down again. I'm going to bring it down right to the edge. See how that sounds. Sounds pretty good. I think we're all set to start assembling. I'm not going to start gluing anything yet. I'm just getting everything into position and then we'll glue once that's done. Okay, that's going to go about there. Up here, we're going to figure out how much of a distance you want between the top of the bottle and the knot. And I just figure this looks pretty good. I'm going to just do a simple overhand knot. off any remains at the end. We don't need to do that right now. Okay, like that, and then we have this. I want my clapper to go right about here. 
so I will knot below right here. And then I'm gonna take this. And if you have, as I said, a piece of jewelry, if you have a, a piece to catch the wind, you can do that. It's, that's up to you, okay? And I'm not gonna have it too long. Actually, I'm just going to make it some simple like this. I'm gonna tie it off in an overhand knot. Before I do that, I'm going to cut a piece of wire. And the length depends on how much you want to wrap around your bottle. You may not want to wrap anything around your bottle, actually. And this is kind of a wacky, you know, I don't want to say wacky, but it's just something that's a little bit impromptu, but as I said, I love the look of wire, so a copper wire in particular, so I'm just going to continue wrapping this. I like it. I really like it. Now, the end part is going to be open up the jump ring. I think I'm actually going to put it up here as well. Uh, so that's just going to involve opening up this jump ring. After I finished the project, the wind chime project, I actually went back and did a little painting on it. I swirled metallic blue, which I really think is very pretty. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope that you enjoyed yourself and found value in the video. If you'd like to see more DIY creative videos out of the garden, please click the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.